Hi friends, let us see today uh, what do you mean by digital filters. So we are going to see today topic is digital filters. So there are basically two types of digital filters. One are called as FIR filters and, one, and the other one are called as II. R filter. FIR stands for finite impulse response filter, whereas IIR stands for infinite impulse response filters. So we basically classify the digital filters into two categories. One is we call as finite impulse response filters and second one we call as infinite impulse response filters. Now, uh, topic for today, we are going to see more in detail about FIR filters that are finite impulse response filter. Now, impulse response is nothing but just a recall, impulse response is the output of a system, okay, it is the output of a system when the input is impulse. So if I give input as impulse, then I am going to get output as an impulse response. Now what do you mean by finite impulse response? That means my h of n will have finite samples or the h of n will be a finite set. For example, we will take an example. If I write h of n as 1 by 2 raised to n u of n. If we take this example that is 1 by 2 raised to n u of n, then this is not a finite response. For example, we again I will write h of n is equal to 1 by 2 raised to n u of n. Now u of n is a unit uh, step signal which extends till infinity. So if I go on putting the value of n, I will get every time a new value of h of n and it will extend till infinity. Here also you can see that the n is a positive integer. Okay. Now, this will not be a finite impulse response. This will be an infinite impulse response. Now let us take another example. Uh, uh, let us say h of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six and so on so forth. This is also not an impulse, finite impulse response because h of n have n number of values or infinite level of values into its set. Then what is an FIR or a finite impulse response look like? The finite impulse response will look like h of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's for example say 1, 2, 3, 4 or it might be taken as h of n is equal to uh, 1 by 2 raised to n u of n by restricting n to be going from 0 to let's say uh, 10. Now my n is restricted. Now n cannot take infinite values and hence u of n will not be an infinite number. This is also a finite impulse response example. So these two examples are finite impulse responses. This actually uh, states that inside the set I will have finite number of values for h of n. That is where we call this as a finite impulse response. And if there are infinite samples like for example over here 
then this will be called as infinite impulse response. So we have finite and infinite impulse response. So we'll be more focusing today and hereafter on finite impulse responses. Now here will be from the user will be getting some characteristic inputs and according to that input we will be designing this system but the system should be FIR system that means it should have H of n which will be finite that is the uh, major goal of this topic so how to go about this topic so from user we will be getting h of e raised to j omega okay this will be given to us on this given data i will apply i d f t that is inverse discrete fourier transform which says the formula is h of n equals to 1 upon 2 pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity h of e raised to j omega into e raised to j omega n d omega okay so this formula will be applied at this point and will be getting h of n so output of this will be h of n but this h of n will have infinite samples so there will be infinite number of samples in this h of n so we will apply one more step okay to make this infinite impulse to a finite impulse which i call as h dash of n okay so we'll be applying a algorithm let's say we will apply a algo to convert this infinite sample response to finite sample response okay so we'll be going from h of e raised to j omega to h of n which is infinite samples and applying some algorithm and we will get h dash of n so this will be the basic technique used in designing an fir filter so these are the design steps we will always be following this design steps in fir filter okay so this is the overall view of an fir filter so fir filter demands that my uh, filter will have a, a finite number of samples into it its so its response will have a finite number of samples to it and uh, i will be designing the system rather than understanding what is the system okay so in that i will be getting some characteristics from the user normally we get h of e raised to j omega which will be converting to h of n and then applying some algorithms to get h dash of e uh, h dash of n 